Hello, my name is Katia Chesarera and I am an electrical engineer turned science communicator. I started my career at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab. I've worked on five NASA missions. I've been a lead test engineer, a lead electronics engineer, and recently I also started participating in several TV shows because I wanted to explain, teach, show my passion and love for engineering. Welcome to a day in my life. Today, I have a few meetings to get through. First up, I have a meeting with some people in Mexico who are planning an event for me coming up. I just finished that meeting. Now I'm going to be having some lunch. It is just a vegetable stir fry with some rice. I like to make sure that I take a break for lunch because for so many years, I was just rushing through my lunch, not really taking the time to properly sit down, take a break and eat. So definitely prioritizing that now and especially today okay I am done with that next on my list is I'm going to be filming a YouTube video other than this one <laughs> so this is a YouTube video inception going on right here let's go set up we are here in my office this is my workbench setup where I do my electronics work testing things like that and behind the camera is my office area where I have my computer laptop monitor desk and all of that. I have set up my camera to record this next YouTube video. It's going to be about how I decided to apply for this mission to space, how I found out I had been selected and my reaction, my mom's reaction, all that good stuff. So I will not be filming that video and I'll get back to you. I am now back at my desk and I'm going to start editing a video. Oh, this is my favorite desk decoration. It is our crew photo and I had everybody sign it. My life has drastically changed since I went to space and I think that it's a good thing but I'm also really busy and really tired so it's been a mix of really really amazing things and really big projects and lots of interviews with also knowing when to take a break, knowing when to stop and knowing when to say no I can't. I can't do that, I don't have the bandwidth for that. So it's been a huge learning experience, but at the same time, I just feel such a deep connection to the world and to people, to humanity. I am much more patient with people in general, much more loving of our planet. And I think this experience really made me realize how much we take for granted. I know that not everybody can have this experience. So if I'm able to share what I saw, what I felt, then that's all I can hope for. I'm going to be editing the video now that I just filmed. As an electrical engineer, it's been really beautiful for me to also be able to get experience in front of a camera and talk about my passion, teach, explain engineering, electronics, electricity to kids, to adults. Today's video is really, really special to me. I am going to be giving an intro to circuits. It's just one of my favorite things to talk about it and to explain why I love it so much and why it's so fascinating. So this coupled with my trip to space coupled with my experience at NASA is just making my career so beautiful and full of amazing large experiences. My goal for now is actually to have my own TV show. I would also love to write a couple books. I think that life should be what you want it to be. You don't necessarily have to go to college, get a job and do that job for 30 years. I think those days are long behind us and it's important to be able to do all the different kinds of things that you want to do. If you wanted to be a writer, if you wanted to be an astronaut, if you wanted to be an engineer and then you wanted to be a scientist, you can do everything. There's no reason why you can't. I'm gonna be putting in a few hours of work and that will be my day pretty much. So let me just give you a quick tour of my office as we wrap things up. This is my wall and I have some posters of women who inspire me. I also have some art that some of my followers made because my trip to space really inspired them. I really wanted to have this here to honor them, but also to get inspired myself, just looking at it and how much this motivated people to follow their own dreams. This is kind of funny, I love this. <laughs> this alien uh, holding my graduation sash. This is absolutely incredible. One of my followers made it for me and it is my face made out of string. I mean, how talented is he this is absolutely amazing this right here is my mission patch we can see 
my name is up there on the right it got its own side because of how large it is <laughs> and i'll give you a quick tour of my closet i have one of my favorite denim jackets which was given to me by blue origin after my mission and here is where i store my prized possession which is my flight suit Thank you for joining me. I will now get back to work. Definitely feel free to leave any questions about what it was like going to space, what it's like to be an engineer, or what it's like to teach electronics and engineering on TV, and all of that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.